Things don't get more grand than the Windsor Knot. It's named after the Duke of Windsor, despite the fact that he never actually wore it. You see, the Duke of Windsor liked a wider knot, and he ordered his ties to be especially made with thick fabrics to achieve this. This wasn't exactly feasible for the wider public, so they invented the Windsor Knot instead. All right, let's get tying, comrade. Place the tie around your neck with the wide end lower than the skinny end. Adjust according to your height. Cross the wide end over the top of the skinny end to create a cross. Pull the wide end up through the neck loop from underneath. Pass it down to the left side. Cross the wide end behind the knot and pull towards your right. Pull it up through the neck loop and then pass it down to your right side. Cross it over the top of the knot and pull it towards your left. Pull it up through the neck loop from underneath. Push the wide end down through the loop you've created in the knot. Pull down on the wide end to tighten the knot. Slide the knot up towards your neck and adjust as you need. The Windsor achieves a robust, noble shape without the need of a thicker tie. Pretty crafty, don't you think? Well, well, well. You've just transformed yourself into a handsome beast. Whip on a fancy suit jacket to complete the look. Knock him dead, tiger. For our full range of ties, check out otie.com. Now, smash that like and subscribe button, and thanks for watching.